Here with Chinano on the walk with Riverdale Baptist, the newest Louisville Cardinal. Uh, what was it about Louisville that made that the place? Uh, when I went on my visit, I just felt like it was the most comfortable place, and I know that they're going to make me work hard, that. I know I can win the national championship, and I know I'm in Coach Patino that I'll be able to make it to the NBA. Right. Well, you picked up a lot of interest. How hard was it for you to kind of uh, narrow the list down to three? Uh, it was real hard. You know, a lot of schools are coming out of the I just picked the ones that I thought me and my parents and my family were love. Right. Uh, how good does it feel to have it all over with? That's uh, really good. You know, no more calls, no more texts. You know. yeah. I know I have to focus on my school and my uh, basketball. Right. How, how stressful was the process, the whole recruitment? Uh, it was pretty stressful because you know, the coach was just calling and telling me every day just to see if you want to come on a visit or even if you want to talk to them or if you wanted them to recruit you. Right. And last thing, I mean, what are your goals now? You got this out the way. What do you want to do your senior year? Uh, just, uh, you know, have fun and win in, uh, another conference. Gotcha. Appreciate it, Chinano. Here at Riverdale Baptist, Coach Lou Wilson. Coach, Chinano Wanawako, your senior center, just committed to Louisville. Um, just want to get your thoughts on the, the decision. What do you think about that fit? Uh, I think it's an awesome uh, decision for Chinano. Uh, whichever school he had chosen, uh, whether it be Georgetown or Miami, uh, they both would have been excellent choices also. But I think he chose a good school that fits him. Uh, they're going to work him really, really hard. He's going to have an opportunity to get on the court and play uh, right away as a, as a freshman. I don't know about starting, but he, he will have an opportunity to, to compete and get minutes as a freshman, and that's what he wants. Uh, he wants to get a good education. Uh, not only on the court, but he's going to get a good education off the court. Of 
course, he's going to be with uh, Coach Rick Patino, who's a very demanding uh, basketball coach, and uh, he's going to push him to the limit so, so that he can reach his dreams. I know China, China Nu has dreams of playing at the next level, and I think uh, Coach Patino is going to push him extremely hard, so that's going to help his process uh, get to where he wants to go in life. Great. So I just think it was an excellent choice. Uh, the family was uh, pleased with the decision. Uh, China Nu made a decision today. Uh, he's the centerpiece of our um, program here at uh, Riverdale Baptist High School, and we had a great time right here at Center Court at uh, Riverdale today. Right. Well, can you talk a little bit about his, his growth um, the past couple years that you've had him? How has he developed as a player, and what do you think he has the potential? I mean, his, his ceiling, what do you think he can get to at Louisville? Yeah, I really think uh, Chinano has come such a long way from his temporary year uh, as, a, as a sophomore. Some of uh, our programs would have thrown him right to the wolves, but here at Riverdale, we were very patient with him. Uh, we let him play some junior varsity so he can get all the minutes that he desired and also play in some varsity games as, as a sophomore. And near, near the end of the season, the sophomore season, he started to uh, come into his own as to carving out a space on the varsity level for himself. And then uh, last year, he stepped it up even more. He took a uh, starting position at the center spot, averaging eight points, 10, 11 rebounds per game, a ton of block shots. Uh, you know, so this year we're projecting him to maybe add a few more points to his point total, maybe 16 points per game, uh, something maybe around 10 or 11 rebounds again, maybe four or five block shots. And, um, you know, that's going to just help his growth and his confidence so that when he does go to college, he'll have an opportunity to understand that he, he still does have room to grow. He's a youngster. Uh, he's going to be only 17 years old, you know, going to college. And that's very, very young. So he's going to have a high ceiling uh, to develop and grow into the player that he wants to be. Gotcha. Appreciate it, Coach. No problem.